I knew early on that I that art was my sort of like calling and so I was influenced by different artists like Jim Dine, American artist uh, and just his uh, drawing ability and then you know when I went and studied uh, in, at a CQU I then was influenced by my mentor Peter Indans and Patrick Connor and then that sort of evolved from that. I'm originally from Western Australia so I, I grew up there. Uh, I had an unusual upbringing being that I lost my parents really young and uh, lived with my grandparents for a bit of time and, and then when my parents passed away I moved to Darwin and lived up there for eight years and then on remote cattle stations and then went back to Perth and, and then I came back over here as a young adult and fell in love with Yupoon and central Queensland and I haven't looked back so yeah. Like I knew art was my sort of thing so I had very I guess uh, a really different sort of upbringing and so through that I was just trying to like teenagers they were just trying to figure out their self-identity and for me art was very much a method of reflecting and trying to figure out where I was going with my world and my life and figuring out who I was going to be because I didn't have the, the um, I guess that sort of nurtured um, sort of uh, family behind me so I was sort of uh, wishing to find that voice in art yeah yeah, I think when you go through adversity, it does, yeah, like art is a therapy in a sense. So like for me, I was turning to art to try to understand the world, but also understand myself. So, you know, through that adversity, I was like reaching out to a thing that was um, like, yeah, just I was reaching out to myself in a, in a sense, trying to figure out all those big questions that I was uh feeling so when I first started do, doing like my art it was full of teenage angst and you know there was a bit it was a dark sort of surrealist quality about it and I guess even when I went into CQU I still had that uh, sort of tendency to to uh, talk about all that sort of stuff that I was still healing with uh, and but nowadays it's very different. It is very much full of, for me, it's full of uh, emotion and feeling, but uh, I'm very much uh, healed in a sense. Like I've like, that's, that's been my journey, but I'm here in the present and I'm really uh, very humbled and thankful to, to have that breath to do, to do what I do. Well, when I studied, I won, the, uh, won a few different awards, but the first one was my first exhibition uh, when I was doing my painting um, classes with uh, Pat Patrick Connor, and I won the Emerging Artist Award for that of a self portrait. Uh, so that was, you know, that's always a little bit of a, um, a moment because that was like the starting point where I sort of really was tuning into the, to the art industry and, and making my voice apparent. Uh, but yeah, since then, you know, having projects overseas and like Germany and selling work from all over the world, it's a little bit out of like so many places my work has gone. Yeah, I have to pinch myself a little bit, especially when uh, I had a project in Germany where they had my work on uh, wallpaper and, uh, and um, yeah, in a hotel and to see the photos, it it felt like it was photoshopped, so it was a little bit surreal. But uh, and then to have my own art gallery, you know. Initially, it started off as a pop-up shop, so I uh, I started like merchandising uh, quite earlier on uh, in my career, as in, because I had a, done some business like um, certificates as well. So I was very much aware of how like artists and well, businesses had to really think about their business plans and how to make an income. And so I started doing all that and then it really snowballed after doing a pop-up shop. And then I realized that the possibilities are there of being, you know, more present in the business sector. Uh, and then, you know, I've had a gallery for over six years now and yeah, it just keeps getting more exciting and, and I'm having, you know, a great time. Like initially I've had a few videos like uh, get uh, quite a lot of like over 20 million views on Instagram and then over 20 on Facebook and then you know amass quite a lot of um, followers through that uh, you know one particular lady she she found me on TikTok fell in love with the work and and uh, she's got eight originals I think now so 
she's uh, very much um, one of my big supporters and that's just someone who found me on TikTok. So, you know, I, I get to do what I love every day and I have uh, the ability to, uh, to um, spend more time in the studio, you know, refining my, my uh, art artistic uh, vision and, and voice. And so that's, you know, that's always was my dream was just to have that ability and that time to do, to do my passion. And so I guess you know, I get to do that. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. <laughs>